All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a look at the Italian Fiat and Saldo M1340 Series 3. Now, all of the M1340 Series tanks have the same basic history. They were an Italian tank designed to replace the Fiat M1139 in the Italian Army at the start of World War II. They were the primary tank used by the Italian Army throughout the war. The design was influenced by the British Vickers 6 ton and was based on the modified chassis of the earlier Fiat M1139. The M in the name refers to medio or medium according to the Italian tank weight standards of the time. 13 tons was the scheduled weight and 40 was the initial year it was accepted into production, 1940. There were three different batches of the M1340 produced, conventionally dubbed 1, 2, and 3 series. The external appearance is near the same with some minor changes in the length of the fenders, layout of the hull equipment, and turret top details, etc. The third production batch rolled off the factory floor featuring shorter fenders, a late type turret with a bulge on the top, and the jack was relocated to the rear. There were a few other design alterations incorporated. Most notable was a mushroom shaped starter cover box. Other than these few minor changes, all of the M1340 series were basically the same. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the M1340 Series 3 is a rank 1 medium tank with a battle rating of 1.0. It has a 200 horsepower engine propelling the 13.6 ton vehicle to a top speed of 21.8 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 47 millimeter 47 slash 32 mod 35 cannon. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 3.1 seconds. With a premium account, it has an XP reward of 300% and a silver line reward of 15%. So what do I think of the M1340 Series 3 here in War Thunder? Well, this is also a really good reserve vehicle. The main difference between the Series 1 and the Series 3 is the reload. The Series 1 had a reload of 5.3 seconds. The Series 3 has a reload of 3.1 seconds. So a much better reload here for the Series 3. Other than that, they're basically the exact same vehicle. That being said, why don't we hop into a game? see what I was able to do with the M1340 Series 3. Here we go. Alright, looks like we picked up Stalingrad. We are in the northeast corner. There's only one cap point on this map, so... Oh, I guess I'll head over um, toward... What would it be? A7 or A6. All right. We have another 1340 right here in front of us. We're going to go right between this fence and this train car. On a blistering 21 miles per hour. The machine gun on this thing is pretty useless. I have found that most of the uh, Italian machine guns here are pretty useless. So. They don't have enough rounds, um, so it's even hard to do damage. They're small caliber. Not very many rounds. 
let's see. Our guys got the cap already. Somebody is right down this road to the left. This could be dangerous. Oh, I forgot. There's some debris between us. Let's go around this building here. To the right, somebody's over here. Where are they? Dang it. Oh! I got turned just in time. Let's see. Can I hit this guy? Dang it. He went behind the wall. There he is right there. keep thinking that I, I have to wait a little longer to fire. I kind of got the five second time frame down in my head and not shooting quite as soon as I could. The guy is still up there. So we can run him out of there with some arty. Let that start impacting, and then I'll pull up some. There we go. Let's see. Oh, hill. Oh, crap. Dang, I missed that shot. I was on that little hill. All right. This dude is messing me up. Come on. There we go. Woo! I am so lucky he didn't kill me. He's got a pretty weak gun, but if you can get in close enough with that thing, you can you can do some damage. It reloads really quickly. Took out two of my crew members. I'm very lucky I didn't die. Now if I can just knock this guy, maybe if I hit his engine. Set him on. Oh, he's backing up. Yes. There we go. Now let's go ahead and replace the crew member that that dude took out. I have to say, if, if I didn't have an expert crew uh, with, with a level of 150, he probably would have killed me. But I switched gunners just fast enough to get him. Can I get this dude? Oh, him? I got, oh yes. I got left. There we go. All right. Can I get this dude? Got his engine. Come on, a little bit further forward. There we go. This might be a sneaky little position right in here. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see if I can engage any of these guys. Yep. Oh, he moved. He didn't. I can see somebody over there. No shot. It's a BP-5 way over there. Drop some party. What is that? Some more arty over there. A 
I'm going to go around and see if I can peek at him from this side. I think if I go over the top, I'd just be asking for it. Try not to hit that hill. And I did anyway. Here we go. What is it? Oh, it's an M8. And he's looking this way, I think. So... I don't think I should pull out there. What do you think? Okay, he's getting scraped. Oh, he moved. He's moving. There we go. Killed some guys. And finished him off. That worked out well. This game is almost flooded. It is. It's over. All right. Let's take a look at what we did. All right. Awards. Rank does not matter. Adamant, Teamwork, Tank Rescuer, Double Strike, Professional, Shadow Strike Street, Survivor, Balancer, and Heavy Metal Fury. My results, first place in the team, this is my XP and credits, this is my premium bonus. Alright, eight targets destroyed. Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah. The M1340 Series 3. This is another good little reserve tank. Um, little improvement over the Series 1. Uh, comparable with pretty much all the reserve tanks that you're going to face. So, if you've liked this quick look, at the M1340 Series 3, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.